I love Conor McGregor. How can you not love this guy? This guy is awesome, and the way he talks. Yeah, listen, cut out all this other stuff, and I'd go through the whole roster in four months. And I tell you that right now, I'll whoop every single one of them inside four months if you cut out all this other shit. Bring me in, weigh me in, and I'll fight the next night and wipe out the entire game inside four months. The story of Conor McGregor is a modern day Cinderella and a superhero story together with blood, gore, and naughty words. 2015 was my year. 2016 is also my year. Every year is my fucking year. Really inspiring shit. Now, the other day I watched the fight. I saw Conor boxing the best boxer in history and losing to him. That was heartbreaking, but kind of expected. I wanted to see a war. I wanted to see a battle for the ages. Something that I'd be proud to tell my children I saw live on the TV. I wanted to see a heroic standoff against all odds and not a boxing match. Conor, tell me, Conor. Did you really expect to outbox the best boxer in history in 12 rounds? I get it that you believe you're talented, I get it you're strong, you're good, you're awesome, I fucking love you, but you cannot outbox the greatest boxer in history. I saw you giving up, not on the boxing match, but on the win or die mentality that makes a fight so fucking unforgettable. Connor, this was never about your boxing skills. This was about your intent. The man that stepped into the ring with Floyd was not the same man that stepped in with Dustin Poirier, not the same man that stepped in with Aldo, and not even the same man that lost to Nate Diaz. That man was ready to die in the ring, putting his hands behind his back and doing the Ali Shuffle. Kill or be killed intent. That's what makes a fight great, that's what makes us watch it. Don't get me wrong, you were great, you were beating Floyd to the punch, you were hitting hard, you were fast, you were explosive, you were awesome. A great, true fighter. But the day you signed the contract, you knew that wasn't enough to beat Floyd. That wasn't enough to beat the best boxer in history. To beat Floyd, you need to do something incredible. You need to sacrifice yourself. But instead, you just boxed Floyd and unsurprisingly lost. You said your training was the issue. Hey, I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. Even if you have the best camp in the world, that is not enough to beat the best boxer of all time with 20 years of an unbeatable 49-0 record. What did you expect them to teach you? I know Kung Fu. And between us, Floyd came to fight. He came to prove that he is the best boxer of all time. And he wasn't afraid of you. And he didn't run away from you like he ran from Manny Pacquiao. He was there to fight and prove that he is one great fighter. And that was your chance. You should have teared his fucking head off or died trying. But instead, in the round number 10, there was a referee stoppage. And respect for holding out to the 10th round. You are a great fighter. I love you, Conor McGregor. But I expected more of you. I expected you to be a gladiator that will fight in the ring to the death. Because that is the stuff that legends are made of. And that is why we love you. Please share this video. I hope Connor gets to see it. And next time, we'll see the Connor that I and everyone else loves.